Oh, yeah, you heard that absolutely right. But what is this bizarre kaiju and how does it even exist in the MonsterVerse and we don't even know it's there? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. So welcome back to Factolic and let's just get them straight. About a dozen giant monsters have appeared alongside Godzilla in his battles against prominent villains like King Ghidorah, Gigan, and the very menacing Mechagodzilla in the past. Rodan, Mothra, and Kong have already been adapted to the MonsterVerse hero team-up, but Anguirus and one more other monster seems to be on the cards for an appearance in Hollywood. But it seems like this other monster has already made its mark in the MonsterVerse and may have existed in this cinematic universe all along. Anyways, I won't make this any more suspenseful for you all, and the monster in question is none other than the ancient guardian of Okinawa, King Caesar. The plot of 1974's Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla revolves around King Caesar. But what's this kaiju all about? Well, King Caesar, who's worshipped by the inhabitants of Okinawa, was basically a two-legged, red-eyed monster whose appearance was influenced by Shisa lion statues in Japan. Yet, the monster also possessed dog-like features, such as his ears perking up when he was alert. Surprisingly, he fought with the moves and footwork of a martial artist, not a gigantic monster. Though it's never acknowledged in the film, concept art and a depiction of King Caesar's body from a Godzilla encyclopedia hint that physiologically he could be much weirder than he appears. After all, the thing appears to be a golem of some kind. According to the 1974 film, King Caesar lived for centuries within a mountain in Okinawa and because of his immense power and stories passed down from generation to generation about his reputation as the region's guardian, the human characters in the film came to believe that he was their last hope of fighting Mechagodzilla. The belief turned out to be quite true eventually. After all, King Caesar did help Godzilla in defeating Mechagodzilla, but after that he returned to his mountain and wasn't seen again until Godzilla Final Wars, where he appeared as one of several characters. After that, he's never appeared again. However, now some speculations say that he may already exist in the MonsterVerse. But how? We've clearly never seen him in action, nor has he ever been mentioned anywhere in the legendary comics or anywhere in the Monster Titan cinematic universe for that matter. Hmm. Well, let me explain. So, if you remember, aside from the Titans seen in the movies, 11 more Titans were confirmed but not seen on screen. One of them is a creature known as Sekhmet, who was being watched over by a monarch outpost in Egypt, Outpost 65 in Cairo to be really precise. Clear so far? Okay, now in recent times, we've got a little more detail about most of the Titans, including Sekhmet, and the details about this Titan has made fans compare it to King Caesar because of a few striking similarities. You see, Sekhmet is named after the goddess of war and healing from Egyptian mythology, who's sometimes represented as a lioness. And as I've said earlier, King Caesar's appearance, too, was influenced by Shisa lion statues in Japan. But what really got me curious was the fact that Mike Doherty, the director of Godzilla King of the Monsters, verified the connection between the monster and the deity himself by stating on Instagram that she resembles a lioness or sphinx, although the similarities don't just end there. You see, King Caesar was seen as Okinawa's ancient guardian, and he could be summoned to defend his people with an ancient song that has a sacred power to it. Now, that's pretty similar to the depiction of Sekhmet as Egypt's protector deity. Because the monster versus Titan Sekhmet shares her name with such a virtuous deity, she may be one of the monster versus benevolent titans and she might not be alone. Other members of her species may play similar roles. Or could it be that Sekhmet is actually the MonsterVerse version of King Caesar? And this means that the bizarre Titan already exists in this world. Although that's not the only possibility. A more widely accepted theory is that if the Titan Sekhmet happened to have a related species or a Titan related to this monster, then the legendary monster King Caesar would fit the bill perfectly. And he may already be roaming around somewhere in Hollow Earth or resting in a cave somewhere in this mythical land of Titans. Whether or not he's related to Sekhmet, 
it makes sense to adopt this narrative for the creature. After all, King Caesar appears to be a popular candidate for Kong's next MonsterVerse film. Given his regal status and godlike reputation, King Caesar might be introduced as the true king of the Hollow Earth, as well as a titan who may oppose Kong's reign in the Hollow Earth. King Caesar is a pretty big deal and a monster that doesn't really get the recognition it deserves. And with the MonsterVerse continuing, he could take part in a battle against a major Toho villain such as Space Godzilla, Destroyer, Biollante, or a different monster entirely. So fingers crossed for the weirdest looking titan ever. And with that, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and do check out our previous videos too. You're watching Factolic, and we'll see you around next time with another amazing new video. Peace.